You want something snazzy and cool? Well, Nick and I have to. Right now, we can come up there with Ellie Mulewood. I'm an actor. Comedy, music, fun. The best uh, thing that uh, you don't really get uh, anywhere else on late night TV right now. Great talk for everybody. After tonight's Week Night Update episode, let's talk about the superstition about the number 13 and why it is considered an unlucky number. Hopefully Nick at night won't get cursed after this. And to wrap tonight's program up, we try to brighten up the mood with the seven wonders. Hey, that's a lucky number. That's right. So, what is your hair? Get cozy. For me, an interesting uh, on Nick at night. Giddy up! You're about to go for the wildest ride on Nick and Night and on YouTube. That's right, we come up there and there you are. Come one, come all, bring, bring the kids, bring the grandparents, bring everybody, come on over! From the YouTube Dojo, no Sri Gomez could not be here tonight. It's week now, there, there we you are. And now, Man who, let's be honest, you know, has never uh, believed that Selena Gomez will ever watch this program, Mr. Ali Kanye Mueller! Ha! Welcome to week now update. I'm Ali Kanye Mueller with Hello Grasshoppers. <laughs> Mr. Announcer Guy, come on, man. Alright? First of all, I have faith, you know, that uh, this show will be watched by a lot of people. I have faith. You know, Heavenly Father and our Savior, as should everyone else. Alright. Well, let's just uh, face facts, okay? Now, if Senor Gomez uh, would ever watch this program, I think that uh, she probably would have uh, watched and then uh, tuned out a long time ago. I don't know, sir. I mean, you do have uh, great things about this uh, show now. Thank you, and that's true. Alright, the uh, theme song is composed by Baby Now Creations. Diamond Dark Cammy made the bumpers, and for Breeze Watch, I get Rockwell and made the previews. You just heard our uh, announcer uh, just a few moments ago. Uh, Specs Mark Kane has uh, some fan edits, some Mario Gaffey has the scene covers. Oh, Baby Now Creations, I just mentioned them earlier, I'm going to mention them again. He does Baby Now and Friends and uh, all that other stuff, Michael Zycast. You know what? Uh, I was responsible for doing I Michael and things like that. The Amazing Chris and uh, CC Wind, uh, they both have random stuff and the Nostalgic Plum has some uh, nostalgic stuff. Oh, and the Mario Gap hasn't seen covers. Uh, yeah, I mentioned that earlier. I think I did, but does not to uh, repeat uh, some things every now and again. Anyway, what's up? What's up with Selena Gomez, a woman who everyone wants to make jokes about? Get in the line! I'm first! Now, her 30th birthday is coming up, uh, not for another six months, but it's coming up. Uh, six months, seven months, whatever. And she doesn't care about it at all because she loves growing up. Wait. She loves growing up even though women hate being called old? Wow. The world truly has changed. <clears throat> and hey, listen to this. She recently got a Grammy no nomination. For her Spanish speaking album or her Spanish singing album called Revelacion. Revelacion. No, in other words, uh, is, that, is that a revelation or something like that? Yeah, Revelation. I think that's the name of uh, the song translated in English. Uh, uh, the album uh, translated in English. Anyway, she cried like a baby when she found out. Selena, come on. You haven't won anything yet. Don't jinx it. You might be broke next week. You might be broke next week. Alright. Now, ladies and gentlemen, MP and the Pink Cat with another top eight list. Let's see uh, what it takes. Okay, what's the category? Tonight's category, top 8 things that Selena Gomez talks to every day. Number 8, a Coca-Cola bottle. Number 7, a box. Number 6, mud. Number 5, a computer. Number 4, her clothes. Number 3, her closet. 
number two, her shoes, and number one, her feet. Her feet? What the hell of a human being would talk to feet every day? Uh, Selena Gomez. Okay, and let me ask you this. Do you think that Selena Gomez will ever talk to mud? Actually, we just uh, said that she does every single day. Oh, ain't that? Ain't that? Oh boy, I did it again. Thank you, boys. We try to uh, recover uh, from that. More week now update after this. This is still a week now update, as the kids uh, say. Now here it is, your vibe of night. Can you feel the love tonight? Really? Sorry. If your boss is a jerk and you get home from work and you feel like a struggle of dice, there seems to relief from this hardship increase. Thank goodness for this effort. Are you ready for some carpet trivia? What's the only company to offer 72-hour delivery? What company's prices start at $6.95 a yard with pad and installation? What company's credit plan gives you 60 days to make a payment? And what's the only company that gives you a phone or shampoo or free with any order? Well, if you said Empire to all four, you're a winner. And if you're in pursuit of some good carpeting, you're a winner again when you call Empire. 588-2300, Empire! Call us right now. Scott and the boys. How you doing, I did? I'm doing all right. Uh, man, I don't know uh, how to uh, describe this week to you, but this week has been a lot to process so far. You're telling me, I mean, with the passing of Bob Saget and Ronnie, uh, and the passing of Ronnie Spector, plus uh, all the crazy things that have been happening lately. It's amazing to know that uh, people can still rely on this uh, program for some good fun. You know what I mean? Yeah, some good, uh, clean fun. Well, yeah, and some uh, really uh, nice uh, entertainment. Yes, indeed. So, what are we doing now? i tell you what we do now, what we're going to do right now. It is time for a little thing we like to call talking time. Let's talk about it. <coughs> Let's talk about it. All right. Now that's an intro right there. Now, listen to this, okay? You know what? Uh, Selena Gomez. You know, is going to turn 30 years old on July 22nd. Now, people would think, you know, uh, you would think that, uh, you know, someone like Selena Gomez would be afraid of uh, getting older, right? Well, apparently uh, not uh, Selena, because this is what she said. She said, I love growing up. When I was younger, I was scared of it, and I thought by now my life would look so different. But now I'm like, wow, this is not what I ever expected, and I couldn't be more thrilled. I've stopped caring about what people have to say, and that's been wonderful. Ah, uh, hmm. Huh. That is rather interesting, of course. You know, I think you have uh, thought about that before while realizing that uh, tomorrow on Amazon, or if you're watching this uh, sometime after uh, midnight, you know what, a.k.a. you know, 2.30 in the morning on Naked Night, then uh, today, or what, tomorrow, or whatever, this weekend, you know, the final installment of the, the Hotel Transylvania franchise will stream on Amazon. You know, this weekend. Let's just put it this weekend. Let's put it that way, okay? 
Now, like she said, I'm a little sad, but we've had a great time. I was 20 when we did the first film, and now I'm about to be 30, so it's pretty wild. A lot has came for me in a lot of good ways. Hmm. Really? I don't know if, uh... If we can actually say that uh, a lot of good things have happened to you, especially considering the fact that, you know, one of the biggest accomplishments you've had uh, to date, you know, uh, you know, despite, uh, you know, besides uh, dating uh, one of the biggest pop stars of uh, 2010, I mean, 2010 and 2011, is the fact that you were able to you were able to uh, back away from uh, social media, which is something that you learned about because people still see you on Twitter and some random thing uh, they call TikTok. All right. Now it's not to, to say you know Zena didn't have uh, much uh, success you know uh, in the music world uh, either. Of course. You know, it's uh, shocking uh, to a lot of people that she actually got her uh, first Grammy nomination, you know, what, uh, this year, you know, for her first, uh, um, for her uh, Latin uh, pop album out, Revelation, which uh, translated into English, like I said, is Revelation. Okay? Now, how she reacted to the whole thing was. Pretty interesting, right? She told the entertainment tonight, I cried like a little baby. I was very excited. I worked really hard on that project, so it was a lovely surprise. I'm very excited. Hmm. Really, Selena? Do you really think that you have worked pretty hard? <laughs> I mean, come on! But people uh, say they work hard on the album. All right? We're talking, uh... Maybe a year and a half to maybe two years at most, right? Right. In the case of uh, Will Morris and Anderson Pack with uh, Silk Sonic, you know what? Uh, they didn't have uh, everything uh, set together. You know, it took them uh, like a pandemic and uh, things like that to actually, you know, start writing the songs. And then, you know, it was the beginning of last year when they start no. It was almost towards the end of uh, 2020 when they started recording the whole thing. And they started releasing songs, you know, what, last year before they released the whole album uh, during the holidays. Okay? And I'm pretty sure, Selena, that it took you a little less than uh, three months to get uh, that album together. Alright? And I should know because... You know, it doesn't really look like uh, you work hard at all. Alright? Granted, you did uh, drop uh, the album uh, last March. Okay? But it still doesn't change the fact that... You know, uh, even though you have thought about it... You know, you didn't start really working on it until... You know, we're almost uh, in the middle of the pandemic. So, we don't want to hear any nonsense uh, from you, Selena, okay? We don't want to hear any nonsense. We don't. And that's what you've been uh, spewing out. Nonsense. <sighs> anyway, kids, that is it for tonight's uh, program. Tomorrow night is going to be a real humding of a program. This is this. We're going to talk about blizzards and... Uh, Let's uh, see if I got this right. Darwin that can be for me, so I'll take a walk about 10. Anastasia Jane and her boyfriend called OK Animation. Rebecca K. Not that case, Swaggy World Tech 7 3 a Studios. And Miss Hannah Gale will all be here to help me uh, talk about blizzards. You know what? With you. We're all going to talk about blizzards together tomorrow. Alright? We're going to have a good time together. Alright? So you come back and see us tomorrow, okay? That's the news. I'm out, skis. For all by for all. If your boss is a jerk and you get home from work and you feel like a troll, a dyke, there's instant relief from this hardship increase. Thank you.